I want to welcome everybody to series 27 of Sport Fishing on the Fly. Pretty amazing, you know, 27 years of doing show, the longest running fly fishing show in North America, and if not the world, I'm not even sure. We got a great premier show for you. It's Brian Chan and I fishing Stump Lake for a big rainbow trout using chronomids. So that's today as we take a sport fishing on the fly. Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Maui Jim Sunglasses. First, Tellurium Corp, the future of mining. And Hardy, rods and reels. Hook out. Oh, that's who's that? That's big. Uh, that's a Fraser Valley, eh, Brian? Yep, that's a look at that. Fat Fraser Valley. That is a beautiful Fraser oh, Valley. Man. Look at how fat he is across the back. Yeah. You know the Fraser Valleys, people, you know, mock them, but they're <laughs> beautiful fish, and they get big. And there he goes. And not. So that's a beautiful blackwater. Is it? Dawn. Look at how. I mean, look at how fat that fish is. Oh. Look at that. Like that is. Just a oh, look as long as my fish. long as my arm. Put him in the net for one more second. Okay, okay let let the, let this guy go. Oh, again, I'll just give him. A, look at that. Oh. Oh yeah. my, that's got to be eight pounds, eh, Brian? Oh yeah, it's a look how wide he is. Oh, and he's just oh. wow. And there he goes. Oh yeah. Oh, oh my, that's a good one. It's another. It's another chrome. Pig. Beautiful. <laughs> so what'd you put on? Oh, something out of Don's <laughs> box. <laughs> well, you know what? We I had two right away. That big guy and another one. Yeah. You got just, what? What? They're on it. I know they love tiny, it. Tiny, tiny little. Leaf. Well, it's your pattern. I mean, it's the BMW yeah. with the green head. Oh, look at this guy. He just came in, Brian. Oh, look at how fat he is. Oh, he's oh. doing the head. Roll. I don't. He's doing the coho. Oh, he's doing. Oh, he's all wound oh, up. All right. You got a break. He's all wound up. Oh, oh, another slab. <laughs> it's another toad. What a tub. What a. Another. Oh, my. Oh. Another gorgeous bow, man. These fish are oh. stunning. I got to get a picture of this. Yeah, I'm going to get right in there. Look at that. Oh, my. Look at how fat he is, <laughs> Bright Phil's in that, and he's got to be. He that's got, it's he another, missed any meal. It's another eight pound fish. Well, they're digging the little pattern. So you know what we're going to do right now, Brian? Let's go to the bench yep. and tie yeah. that up. What do you think? I'll tie it for everybody. So when we come back, we'll release Brian's fish. Oh, <laughs> oh don't lose them. Don't lose them. Today on the bench, I want to tie you up the Vampire BMW Micro Jig Leech. Now, oh, he's mad now. No, he's not happy. All right, we'll let him go. we got to get some more. I mean, that's, that's just phenomenal right now. Look at that. There he goes. Wow. Oh, that looked like a steelhead, Brian. <laughs> yeah, man. man. Yeah. Now we've Beautiful. been working hard. But we, we got dialed in with that pattern, right? It just yeah. keeps changing. We changed about yeah. 10, 12 patterns and we're dialed in. 
Right on. <laughs> Get the war. So you probably you mentioned all my fish about the fresky riffle and how we're drifting upstream. Yeah, so to this morning, we've got the perfect gentle breeze coming across the lake so we can position the boat so we can both cast perpendicular into the wind. And that allows us to have a basically a drag-free drift coming back to us. We've got our tungsten bead-headed uh, leeches tied on with a non-slip loop knot so that fly is just undulating up and down as it drifts naturally towards us. And then we can impart a, the odd quick twitch just to catch the attention of a fish going by. But it, the key thing is the fly is drifting slowly and it's not being whipped across or through the water by a strong wind. Just gorgeous. Look right where you got oh. it, right in the top lip. Oh, okay, let's get him out here. So we matched. You know, I saw, one I really like is the, uh, is I've got the red and black rib. You yep. know, that's one of my favorites. The, the window tint yep. with the red and black rib with the yeah. white bead, and only the white bead because of the murky water. Yeah. Normally I'll use a black tungsten, black nickel, Yeah. but that was it. So this guy loved it. We kind of know what they're eating. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So I got a shot of him. Oh, look at that. Again, just a beautiful, Healthy bow, just yep. gorgeous. Look at the size. Oh, oh my! That's a, that's <laughs> Don, this is. Okay. The, oh, 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 that's look. the strongest fish I've <laughs> caught in a long time. That looks like a little mini salmon. Oh, it's a just gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Oh. Okay, there he is. Don. Oh, oh, there he goes. He's just this. look at that a little cronman right in the that little crony, right in the top lip. This, this thing has to be how this big. This thing is astounding. It's, I can't fit them. That's got to be, that's got to be 10 plus oh, pounds. Yeah, 10. Look at that. Look oh, at the, look at the, <laughs> look at the size of that. I just can't believe it. That's got to be 10, Brian. Oh yeah, it's 10. I guarantee you it's 10. All right. Epic battle. Our net's going away, but look at that. Yep. Look, at, yep. look at the size of that, Brian. That is just massive. Look at the back on him. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna let him go. Our net's going away, but here he goes. That's, that is the fish. That is fish of the year. That's the biggest one I've got this year by far. <laughs> that was huge.